Hello, I am AFG and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3 and Black Ice version 11. And I'm doing a little tutorial guide video today on something that's been requested by quite a few of you recently. Uh, and that's mix support and a little bit on unit division composition as well as a part of that. Now I've loaded into Germany just because it's probably the easiest to demonstrate on a Germany campaign because there's quite a lot of starting text that, uh, that you get as Germany. So what I want to do is I just want to take you through the opening and that starting decision. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick normal and I'm just going to disable that. And then what I'm going to do, as you can see, we get, I think somewhere in here, our mix support brigades options. So we're going to hit that. And then I'm expecting to see... Yes, motorized and mixed support choices. So, here we go. Now, these are obviously two different things. The motorized support choice is obviously going to be quicker, and the mixed support standard is just going to be a more standard one. There is an armored one as well, which generally I find to be slightly slower than the motorized one, um, but obviously is a little bit tougher. But the mixed support brigades. They start out in the game. I don't think Germany probably starts... I'm not sure if Germany starts with any mixed support. So I think the, probably the easiest way of me showing this is probably to go to the production queue. But um, if we have a little look at mixed support as the game starts... Uh, we don't have any stats in here as it stands. Apart from 50% softness on the mixed support. Uh, and obviously it's slightly faster, 6 versus uh, 4. Um, now, slightly more expensive as well for the motorized one, but as you can see, there's there's no impact at the moment with these. They're completely blank, and the reason for that is that we're going to be using these decision events to determine what's going into those units. Now, as you can see, there's a let's start button for both of those. I'm not going to read these to you. Hopefully, by now, you've just had a chance to have a little read through those. I don't think there's anything too much to say. Effectively, it's saying if you misclick on the following screens, you can go back and redo it. Uh, up until you finalize it. So the bit in red is once you finalized it, you can't go back and change it in the game later on. Now, what I want to show you is this technology tree. And I find it's useful before picking these to have a little look at this tree and then see what you want to pick. Now, as you can see, you've got basic, which is the basic one. So the non-motorized. You've got motorized, which has got the most options, uh, I believe. I, I don't know, armoured and motorised might have the same number of options, but but yeah, you've got motorised options here, you've got armoured, and then you've got airborne. Now, you've also got some upgrades for, you know, picking one of these, you know, things as well. So one of the, um, one of the different upgrades within one of your doctrines down here. Now, what I like to pick is is depending on what I want to go and what do I want out of this mix support unit. Now what I quite like at the moment and what I favour is using these mix support brigades as a bit of a replacement for our recon cav and our engineers. Both of them or one of them, depending on what sort of unit it is I'm creating. So for example, let's say I wanted to create, what I'm quite liking at the moment is, is this sort of template as Germany. So light infantry with infantry tank then a, uh, where is it, where's it gone, can't see, right, mix support, and maybe an engineer for this particular unit, and some civilian transport, but replace with truck transport, uh, and then, you know, something else, so we could put artillery in, uh, we could put you know, something along those lines, but what I class this as is like a breakthrough unit, now if we want to make this even stronger, we could take that out and put in like heavy AA and then that unit is even stronger. It's not going to be very good at going over lots of different terrain though. So this is just going to be a breakthrough unit that's relatively cheap. Um, you know, we're only sitting at 34 IC there, bearing in mind I've not run any, run any of these yet. So, you know, using mixed support effectively as a replacement for recon cav and, and engineers. Now, if you want to do that, what you're going to do and what I find is easiest is to let's demonstrate it on the motorized one first. Uh, actually, no, we'll, we'll do the main one first. So let's start. Now, what I'm going to do on here, we've got all these different options here. And as you can see, these correspond to different techs on here. So 
you can scroll over these and see what you're getting out of picking them. Now, if you pick recon, for example, you're then going to get a choice of what sort of recon you want to bring in for, like, the motorized stuff. Do you want armored cars or not? Uh, do you want motorcycles? Do you want, you know, recon cav? And that's where you can see these additional options here. So this one's got motorcycle recon attachments. Um, and, you know, I, I think it's fairly self-explanatory. You can just highlight what you want and it does different things. Now, for engineers, you see, you get some bonuses to your movement, your amphibious attack, your amphibious defense, those sorts of things. Recon cav gives you some movement bonuses. Again, very useful, very handy. Um, but let's say as well we wanted to include like amphibious armor. That's going to give us some fuel consumption and supply consumption, but you get quite a lot of defensiveness, toughness, softness and things. So what I quite like to use at the moment um, when I play with the, the mixed support stuff is I quite like amphibious armor because you get some movement bonuses, you get a little bit of toughness, etc. Uh, I quite like amphibious armor with infantry tank. And then at this point it becomes a choice really of whether or not I want to include assault guns with infantry tank uh, and then maybe recon cav or engineers. So it, it, it's a bit of a balancing act really, but let's say I wanted to pick first one, let's go with infantry tank. Next one, let's go with amphibious armor group. And then after that, it depends what you want. Do you want to replace your engineers and your recon cav? Then maybe go for both of these in conjunction. But let's say I just wanted to go with assault guns. And, you know, maybe I only wanted to change up my um, my recon or my engineers. So I could go with recon upgrade. And then that's that done. So that unit now covers all of those bases. Well, you'll get bonuses attributed to those particular units that might make them a bit stronger. Now, for mixed support for motorized, I personally favor speed. So anything that's going to be giving me a speed bonus. So, you know, the engineers. So if we have a little look at the tech tree again. And then we have a look at our motorized engineers. They actually decrease our speed a little bit, but we're going to get some attack bonuses from picking them. So, I mean, minus 0.5, is it the worst thing in the world? Oh, no, motorized engineers. Oh, there you go, look. The motorized engineers, see, I'm not even reading it right myself. That's going up a kilometer and a half. So I'm going to pick them. Now. Let's have a little look at the recon stuff. So we've got a motorcycle recon attachment over here. And as you can see, we're getting some speed bonuses out of that as well. And the same thing with light armor. So what we're going to pick is we're going to pick recon. And we're going to pick light armor. So we've got one option left. Now, you know, we've got a couple of choices now on what we want to do. We can do assault guns for the motorized groups. Or we could do... Um, we could do anti-tank, so tank destroyer. Uh, anything that isn't, you know, that's that's not going to slow us down is what I prefer. So, you know, self-propelled rocket artillery would give us some speed as well. So, it, you know, it's a case of, of whatever you feel like, really. What I would avoid, generally, is uh, artillery detachments within... Um, within any sort of fast-moving move, units. That would be my preference. So, um, you know, let's say that we wanted to do, you know, maybe some... Let's do assault gun and just get ourselves a little bit of extra bonus. And then that's done. Now, if we have a little look at the production tab now. And just highlight the mix support in exclusion. Uh, we might need to put time forward one day just so that it can... Uh, the game can reset and realise what's going on. Back. And what you'll see is there's a load of events that will pop up. And let's just get rid of those annoying flashing things. Now, what these will do is they will activate technologies. So we've got amphibious armor upgrades. Yes, I want to deploy engineers to my motorized support brigades. Yes, I want to deploy um, infantry tanks, motorized support. Yeah, budget limitations, appease them. Right, mix support recon, perfect. Winter Olympic Games, break her up. Okay, so if we now have a little look at the tech stuff. Now, oh, would you look at that? We've got some ticks on here now. So when we go to build these, we'll be getting some bonuses. Now, some of the things won't be feeding through because we might not, you know, have the techs unlocked. So we've got light armor and things there. So that one's just coming online now. It does take 
you know, a little bit of time for the game to, I don't know, calculate. I have not no clue whatsoever. But if we have a little look now, we've got some techs up and running. And when we look now at our production and our division builder, oh look, we've got some stats in here now. So hopefully you can see sort of how those feed in and use that tab now. I think that's the most important thing you can do is just use that tab to determine what you want, you know, out of your units. As you can see, my motorized support is now very quick. So if I want to build, you know, for example, let's say a light armor, motorized infantry, and, you know, a motorized support now. So there you go. You've got the start in position of a fairly decent, you know, exploitation division, so to speak. Chuck in an armored car for a bit more speed and resilience. Okay, division, you know, wouldn't use civilian transport, we use truck transport normally. Uh, and then we chuck in, you know, I don't have, um, you know, tank destroyers available, but let's say you want to chuck in tank destroyers. You've now got an extremely quick unit that will that will do the job. Um, obviously, it could be quicker, you know. Uh, you take the transport unit out, makes it a bit quicker. You know, things like that are quite useful. Uh, you know, let's say you wanted to do it like this, and we want a really fast light armor division. So that's seven. Uh, the motorized infantry battalion is eight. You know, that's... That's pretty good going. Uh, in fact, what's keeping you slow at the moment? Ah, well, there you go. The armored car at the moment still got some tech to do. But as you can see, you can build some pretty fast exploitation units and keep the punching power. Um, because a lot of people had issues with dropping from eight brigades down to seven. So what I like to do is I like to replace either the armored car or, sorry, the recon or, you know, the engineers with that mixed support unit and just... You know, for breakthrough divisions, use engineers, and for exploitation divisions, use recon uh, as the main things. But um, hopefully you find that useful. Um, the, the main thing I want to show off is just around some of these techs and what different things do. So, you know, artillery, you're getting some extra bonuses. Anti-tank, you're getting some, obviously, hard attack and piercing. Anti-air, you're getting anti-air, shockingly. Uh, if you pick heavy AA, you are getting some piercing and hard attack as well, which, to be honest, is quite a good choice for Germany. Um, engineers, you're getting generally a little bit of extra, you know, like, bonuses across the board, to be honest. I quite like engineers in my standard stuff if I don't go recon, or, or both, because sometimes it's good to go with both on this one. Uh, infantry tank, you get a lot of bonuses. Same thing with assault guns, which just give you a bit of hard attack, soft attack, toughness, defensiveness, you know, same thing with infantry tank. I prefer infantry tank over... Assault guns. Um, in fact, so two, three point five. I mean, honestly, the infantry tank is just a better option, I think, by the looks of it. Uh, I guess you get a bit of hard attack, don't you, with the assault guns? I mean, you could pick both of these with the amphibious armor and get some some pretty solid bonuses. But yeah, this tab, have a look at it, and then make your decisions. But I've been AFG, thanks for watching, hopefully you found this guide useful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment as ever. Thanks again, closing in on 1k, if you aren't already subscribed or you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Thanks again, bye bye.